So it's six something in the morning on the 28th of October. Uh, and I'm by a really old mill on it. It's a foggy morning, pretty clear skies, and very high clouds. And um, I will be attempting to photograph said mill. So wish me luck. As you can see behind me, it will rise right there. The sun, that is. Uh, the windmill is actually facing that way, which is uh, annoying because I have to walk to the other side. Hopefully there's um, nothing major in, the term, in terms of blocking my way. It's very cold. I think it's two degrees outside, probably just in the air, but on the ground it's a lot worse because, uh, yeah, I don't think I've ever been next to a mill such as like this one. I hope these are not someone's crops, but they look fairly dead. I don't want to be that guy. But then I need to get like there. So, no, nope. that fence again. I mean, the light is picking up so, so, so quick, and I'm glad that all the bad stuff is behind me because uh, I mean the moment you turn around and you look at that that mill man that mill I don't even know what time it is I don't really care what time it is uh, just because I don't shoot by the time anymore I shoot by the light so whatever <laughs> it's oh it's brilliant it's beautiful Do you know what this is one of those times that I'm glad it was early because Sunrise is in 10 minutes. Uh, it's 6.37 now. And um, the sun sort of went somewhere. Don't know where it went. Um, but um, it's clearly not the best time to shoot at sunrise. It's probably best to shoot sometime before or after it. And uh, while I'm at it here, I might take another exposure just to... Uh, Sort of have extra ones. Basically, what I'm trying to frame here is uh, the windmill to one side. It's very, 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 very stand composition. I really apologize for this person's crops, but that's beautiful. It's a bit hazy, granted, but starting to settle now, so I don't know if I should. Uh, should try another photo. The thing is though, I have done those close up to 50 mil, which sort of cut out that really colorful sky a bit. Although it's still colorful behind it, it's very, it's much moodier at 50 mil. I will try and shoot a Polaroid as well. Love this. Got some black and white in. I think it might work. I'm sort of straying away from film, which is a bit of an issue, but then again, monetary issue but Polaroids will always love them because they're unique with analog film well what do I do with it I shoot it do everything basically as it was done and then scan it this oh this this I just keep them Did I see that on the, I think I saw the flash reflect. Oh, it's cracking. It's cracking. It's never good news when it's cracking. Okay, blimey, I, I might attempt another one. The Polaroid. After all, I forgot to lose other than some film. I thought I had another one left. Crap, I, ha I thought I had two more left. I've got one. Well, obviously I'm just stupid, I had to use it on my cat. 
So this is me coming from the future. Please make sure to stick around for the end of the video because I'll be going through the, the pictures that I took today and sort of how I edited them and all that sort of stuff. So be sure to check it out. So this is my second take on this um, editing walkthrough because for some reason the A7S decided not to focus on my face for the whole 12 minutes of it. It was an autofocus, yes, and I was dead center like right now. But okay, what, what can you do, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, so as you can see here, I've selected eight photos from today. Some of them are taken with the iPhone and uh, Maybe straight up you could you could tell that one of them is, um, and that's this wide one um, because you know it's I don't have that wide of a lens for the A7S. But yeah, I, I sort of like this one. It just doesn't it, it didn't work in a in a three by two or four by three crop. So I had to sort of come down to something really wide like this. This is the original, and that's slightly edited and a bit of noise reduction. I mean, hardly anything. Um, and then you can see I've got these these ones with the stars. Um, but I want to draw your attention to the ones on the right, the two ones that sort of look the same on the right. Um, one of them was shot with the iPhone and the other was shot with the A7S. I'll show you both of them. So here's this one and here's this one. Now I'll put them side by side on the screen and um, I'll give you 10 seconds to sort of analyze them and um, I'm already speaking over them, so yeah, just analyze them and um, tell me which one's which. Um, I don't know, I'm not counting the seconds, so time is up. Um, but yeah, it's um, this one is shot with the iPhone. This one is shot with the A7S. Now they're both 12 megapixels. Granted, one has a much bigger lens. I mean, so it's bigger than the iPhones. Um, I don't even know which one's which on the iPhone, really. And um, but what I like the most on the iPhone is I don't know these this color. How the colors are represented? I try to match it as much as possible on the A7S um, while editing it. Um, and I think I got it now. But it's I think it's applied too much sharpening. Uh, because I haven't applied any, but yeah, it just it just blew me away, and it has more dynamic range than the <laughs> like look look here, that's blown out, and look at that, and that was shot with the camera app on the phone, so it 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 is in JPEG as you can see here, um, and obviously shot on the telephoto lens, but. This one is uh, it's not. <laughs> I don't know, it's not. I mean, it's there the detail, but I have to really drop it down. Okay, I sort of messed this one up now. But yeah, um, those are the two, the two that I sort of really found out that they're way too similar. Um, but yeah, this was what I shot. What I shot earlier. Um, this one is another one, sort of that that wide take. Uh, but this is the one I like most. Um, and as you can see, I just went all out on highlights and shadows. Um, but yeah, this was before, this was after. I mean, you could say it's overdone, but I just wanted all the detail because I think I think it just makes it beautiful. If I had it like this, yes, it's mm, it sort of had a story behind it, moody. But what's a moody picture, dude? I mean, it's, it's not beautiful to look at either. It's 
beautiful in a way, but not in all ways. <laughs> and then um, there's this one that stands out. Uh, this one looked like that, um, slightly too blue. Water white balance, probably going to hit on the A7. Um, but uh, yeah, I sort of uh, made it greenish and uh, brought up the temperatures to almost 8,000 Kelvin, which is a hell of a lot. So I just tried to really make it warm. Although it, it, it's clear that it's not warm outside. Uh, you can see from the ground and this was shot from behind. The only reason I don't like this shot is because of the fence. It's, it just, just ruins it for me. Um, so yeah, these are the digital pictures. And now, <laughs> these are the two Polaroids. Yep. Um, they're not amazing. This was the first one. So this was the first one. This was the second one I took. Um, really not sharp. I like this one more. It's moodier. Really moody. Uh, and I like the way the under the chemistry sort of so sort of, where the chemistry wasn't liquid enough to spread to the outsides and thus it it only really developed much in the middle but the, the outside of the frame just didn't do much and um it's sort of more it looks more like a wet plate collodion um sort of thing um if you don't know what that is uh, i'll pop a picture up of a uh, random wet plate but you can also Google it for yourself. It's a very intricate process. Uh, it's very old. That's the editing walkthrough. If you liked it, please leave a like and uh, maybe subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this in the future. Um, if not, then what's the to you? This has been me. It's 11.56. I'm really tired. I've been awake since 4.50. Uh, <laughs> I should probably get some sleep. Or oh, just a quick nap. But yeah, have a good day.